<laughs> Welcome to another Photoshop tutorial for beginners. In this video, we're gonna learn how to outline text that is see-through and then add a little glow on it. To start, let's just go over to our type tool and add our text. It does not matter what color your text is and pick whatever word you want. I'm just gonna write outline. Then just use the move tool to place your text somewhere around the middle. At this point, if your text is the wrong font or it's too big or too small, just double click on your text layer and select up here the font that you want. Make sure you pick something that's fat. Don't pick something that's skinny because it won't look good for this effect. So pick something that's got a little bit of thickness to it. Then readjust your size. So I'm gonna pick something that's a little bit bigger. Oh, that's the biggest I can go. And like I said before, the color doesn't matter. Now, if you still wanna play around with the character of your letters, so like how spaced out they are, head over here to character and we can mess around with a few things. So let's just look at this one right here. So this, if you go minus, that will crunch your letters closer together. And then obviously on this side, it spaces them out more. So pick something that you think looks good for your letters. Next, you can also do the height of your text. So I'm gonna change this to, let's say 150. So you can see that that makes your text taller. And you can also deal with the wideness of your text. So if I put that back to 100, it scrunches it back in a bit. Once you have your text all ready to go, the next step is really simple. We just go over to our text layer, right click, go to blending options, or we can just double click beside it right there and your layer style window will pop up and we're gonna head right down to stroke. Click on the word stroke, not on this little check box here. So this window will open up. Now, all we have to do over here is play around with the size. So you can decide how thick or not you want your outline to be. And then you gotta deal with position. So most of the time inside looks really dumb. So just pick between outside and center, whatever you think looks best whatever you think looks best for your text. Leave blend mode at normal and opacity cranked all the way up. And I would say for the time being, just leave it at white as well. You can change it later if you want. Then to make the text see-through, we're gonna head up to the actual word blending options here. And all we have to do is go over to advanced blending and where it says fill opacity, crank this down to zero and you can see that that already punches through and gets rid of any fill that you had in there. That's why it didn't matter what color we had because we were gonna get rid of it anyway. And by the way, this doesn't just work for text. You can also do it to shapes too. So I'm gonna bring this thumbs up over here and we'll zoom in so we can really see it. And if we go through the exact same steps, so just right click on it, go to blending options, click on stroke, maybe scale it back a little bit so it's a little bit smaller then go to blending options and slide down fill opacity. You can see that that was easy peasy to do it for a shape as well. And just so you know, this process is non-destructive. So at any point, you can come over here and double click on your text layer and change your word if you need to. I would suggest making sure you have the word that you want before you continue with the next steps. Now there is a few final things that you have to consider before you are done. First is the position of your text. So at the start I said to just kind of line it up somewhere for now, but we probably want to have it so it's centered left and right and centered up and down. To do that, all you have to do is click on your text layer, then go Control A. It'll select everything in your canvas and it'll bring up these options up top. All you have to do is click on this one right here and that'll center align it left and right and then just click on this one right here, which will align it in the center from top to bottom. Next, let's take a look at how much your text pops out. So mine pops out a lot because my background is a night shot or dark, so the white really pops out. If we drag this over to another photo that I have, you can see that it doesn't pop out as much. So in that case, you might wanna change the color or add maybe a drop shadow or something. So to do that, we head back over to our text layer, right click, and go to blending options or double click again beside the text layer. In here we can add drop shadow and see how that looks and then just play around with these settings to get something that you like that makes the text pop out a little bit more if that's what you want. You can also darken the image by adding some adjustment layers down here. So let's try a curves to start and if I just drop that down, you can see that that can make an impact as well on how much your text pops out. 
but I'm also going to show you how to add that kind of glowing effect around the outside as well. So to do that, we're going to double click back on our text layer over here to open up our layer style menu again, and we're going to add an outer glow to start. So that obviously puts the glow on the outside. Leave it at screen, leave opacity cranked up, leave noise at zero, pick your color. So in this case, I'm going to click here and I'm going to use the color picker to pick somewhere in this like orangey space here because I want something to be similar in my text. So it kind of feels like it matches. So you pick whatever color you want. Make sure you pick a glowing color, like a, like a highlighter color, or like a fluorescent green, yellow, you know, something like that, that pops a little bit more. And then all I'm going to do is kind of play around here to get a more uh, glowing orange if possible. Click OK. And then just play around with spread and size until you get the look that you like. When you're happy, then just add inner glow and follow the same steps. And that's how you create a glowing outline of text that is see-through. If you got something out of this video or you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and I will catch you next time.